Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well Today I'm here to show you a one of the requested recipes uh, Today I'm making Somali sabayat Now when it comes to sabayat or chapati There are many many ways of making it And, um, and today the one I want to make is uh, soft and easy sabayat so these are the ingredients basically these are the ingredients you need milk water this is a mixture of ghee and uh, oil or you can just use oil or just ghee or butter whichever you like this is just sugar and salt and plain flour that's all the ingredients you need so let's get started i'm going to add in a bowl the milk if you're allergic to milk you can skip this okay the reason why i like to add milk is it makes the sabayat or any type of dough it makes the dough really soft like you can't imagine how soft it gets just by making it with milk so you can uh, just skip that if you're allergic to then i'm just going to add a bit of water this is just around 250 grams of uh, milk and one 25 grams of uh, water they are all warm by the way this is three tablespoons of sugar half a teaspoon of uh, salt this goes in and then we're going to add around five tablespoons of mixture ghee and oil so here in this bowl I have quite a lot so I'm not going to add all so this ghee and oil mixture is something that we'll be using later on when making the sabayat. So I just, um, you don't need this much, but um, I'll write down the exact measurement, inshallah, at the description box below. So mix that and let everything melt together. That's it. And then add your plain flour. As, as I always tell you, whenever you're making any type of dough, add your flour bit by bit so you get the right consistency. Rather than adding all at once and then you might end up a really hard dough. Then you have to add water or milk depending what you're using. So this can get really messy and hard. So I like to add my um, flour bit by bit and that way I can control the consistency how I like it. So just go ahead and mix that also what you have to remember is with sabayat it's usually softer than an, any other dough so this for me is the right consistency now all I have to do is um, just knead well until it all comes together and we need nice smooth looking dough so if you have a machine use machine uh, if not then on the machine you would be needing about five minutes by hand about seven minutes until you have nice looking dough so after kneading about seven minutes as you can see we have nice looking smooth dough and this is the softness of it it's very soft i don't want it too hard so i've got my bowl here i'm just going to sprinkle with a little bit of the mixture of the ghee and the oil and then just, just put all around it get the bowl dough and just place it here and leave it for about uh, half an hour going to cover this just let the dough rest before we begin uh, rolling inshallah so after about half an hour as you can see i have here like a long log and i'm just going to cut it into eight equal pieces just like that and then we're going to make it into a round ball kind of thing like that all equally just make it into a ball so now i have eight equal balls and i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on the surface and roll until it's nice and flat just going to roll it not too much just going to make it as little bit flat as I can 
so we can put the ghee and the oil mixture inside okay as you can see nice and flat so now all I'm going to do is put around one tablespoon of the mixture of ghee and oil all around the dough just like that just like that all around spread it really well okay and then what we're going to do is fold okay we're going to fold this like that all around till you reach the edge just like that so you have a long folded dough and now you're going to fold it again and make it kind of circle really simple and easy just put this underneath it just like that set aside finish all this the same way as this and then come back and fry it inshallah so all rolled up and ready to be fried so once we make it into circles then we need to take one by one again and then we're going to roll it flat okay not too big not like the first time this time a little bit um smaller and nicely round shaped just like that okay now this is ready to be fried i have my mixture here of the ghee and the oil i have my tower here ready and hot uh it will not be too much hot medium heat that's what the heat that i will be using so this will go in here so place the chapati or the sabayets on top of the pan and i haven't added any oil yet so i'm just going to cook the bottom bit and the top bit a little bit just give it a little bit of color and then we will start with the uh, adding the oil inshallah as you can see it's starting to get a little bit of color underneath so i'm going to flip it over and cook the other side as well and then start with the oil take around half a tablespoon and a sprinkle underneath okay well let it cook well and another half tablespoon and now we're going to flip it over just like that the smell is so amazing honestly just keep on stirring to get a nice golden color Just follow the same technique with the rest of the sabayet. So this is this is the first one as you can see really soft and honestly the smell is just amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. all right last one but not least as you can see really soft and oh my days amazing amazing looking sabayat ready okay guys as you can see sabayat it or chapati however you know it it's done and ready and it is so soft look how soft that is honestly and 
it goes well with anything you can see the inside the layers oh it's so amazing and i can't wait to dig in and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well today's recipe um apart from rolling and kneading and then rolling back again uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, if you get your dough right you will master this sabayat inshallah be patient when making sabayat it takes a little time but uh it's it's every i think a lot of people love sabayat and it goes well whether with it uh, with honey you can have it with honey uh or you can just have it as a savior with um um uh, sauce any type of sauce that you might like so it's a very uh versatile uh, bread I guess and uh, I love it I hope you love it too inshallah and as always if you do make it let me know and how it goes for you I hope it goes well for you and I've tried my best to make it as easy as possible and not to put you off with the whole rolling part inshallah just take your time and uh, keep trying until you get it perfectly uh, done inshallah uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share my youtube videos if you are new to my youtube welcome and uh, until next time take care